guys, my name is Sandy and I'm going to be trying YouTube again for the second time. I started um, my first video maybe two years ago. Uh, today we're going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm going to be using the new uh, Emerizi palette. It's what the packaging looks like. These are the colors. Really pretty palette. Really pink. So it's a really pretty uh, sparkly pink palette. Really nice. Just glittery all around. Glitter does come off. So here we have all these really pretty uh, pinks, golds, and blues along with matte colors. So the whole top row um, is glittery except for Wasted which is this light pink color here. Um, these two are um, kind of like a shimmery shadow, probably would be more foil. Uh, then these are all mattes. Uh, today I think we're going to be using uh, Sema, which is this pink color here, along with Resi, which is this color here, and then using OG as our transition shade. Uh, I'll be going for a very pink look today. It does come with a brush. It's a double-ended brush. I feel like this brush is going to be a better quality than a lot of the brushes that um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes come with. I'll start by prepping my eyes. We're going to start with our eyes first today, just so we don't have any fallout. Um, so I will be using um, the Revolution uh, Conceal and Define. Here we go. Let's face it towards you guys. So it's the Revolution Conceal and Define. Uh, this concealer is super high... Um, coverage. Uh, a lot of people say that it's a dupe for um, uh, the Shape Tape Concealer. I've never used the Shape Tape Concealer, but it does have really good coverage. And I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. actually set this with um, the Kat Von D uh, Shade and Light Palette, the contour palette. I'm just going to grab the light shade right here. My palette's been used and abused, um, so I'm just going to use that. I'm going to use my, my Everyday Powder Brush. Um, this is the RT400 from Real Techniques. It's the blush brush, but I use it to set my face usually going to be using the OG color as my transition shade. So I'm going to be putting that in my crease um, just so the colors can melt in together. I'm going to be using the fluffy side of the brush. So there's two sides. We're going to be using this side. The shadow is really powdery as you can tell there. I'm just going to be putting that in my crease as a transition color. The brush is soft. It's not as soft as a lot of the original um, brushes in Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, but the brushes that come in with the palettes are usually a lot rougher, um, but it's not too bad. It does its job. Just going to blend that until there's no harsh lines. Oh, there is some fallout of the brush bristles, so that's not very nice. Um, but a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hill brushes that come in the palette do that. They're not the best quality, but the shadows are. Okay, so now that we have that blended in, we can start on the next side.
crossing all these edges once we get to the end it'll all come together and you'll see how we do that um so with the next color i'm going to use um the flatter side. i'm going to go in with sema which is like that pinky purple color it's a this color right here it's more pink so we're gonna be going in on the edges here the corner of the eye and blend that in We're gonna go on the other side of the brush which we were using and just blend that in to the crease these colors are really pigmented a little goes a long way as you can tell I'm not really touching the center part of my eye because we're gonna go in with Resi or Resi, which is the very glittery color. Um, also pink. We're gonna be going with that um, in the center part of the eye. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of Sema. Really pretty pink color attack here. Blends in beautifully with that OG color. Blend that into the inner part of the eye as well. Grab a little bit more. See that really pink pretty color okay so now we're gonna go on to the other eye and do the same thing um, so we're gonna grab the flat side of the brush pick up some of Sema which is this pink color here like I said before and we're going to put that in the outer corner of the eye blend that in we're gonna put that pigment in there, blend it in a little, and then we'll go in with the fluffy side and just blend that all the way in. So we'll do this. A little goes a long way, guys. You just want to blend until it's nice and smooth. We'll darken the corners once we get to the end to give it a little bit more of a smoky touch to it. But right now we're just trying to piece it together. We'll be cleaning it up at the end. I'll be going in with the glitter in a little bit, but I just want to touch up these corner inner corners. Bring Sema a little bit closer into the eye. So I'm gonna be going in with my finger into the re resi pa um, sorry the resi color. 
and see how that goes in. Usually um, glitters tend to go on better. It's very creamy feeling. So I feel like it's going to be very foily. So we're going to put it into this empty space here. Wow, super pink. Very pretty. Very pretty color. Put that. Make sure we get all this empty space in the middle. We'll blend out the edges once we get that color on. It doesn't need to be wet, the color I feel like, but it'll probably go on more pigment if you wet it a little bit with some setting spray. But I don't find it necessary. It's going on quite nicely. I'm not necessarily doing a cut crease. I'm just placing it in the empty space here. Very pretty. Um, so I'm going to do the same with the other eye. So I'm going to dip my finger into the resi color and place it in all this empty space here. Very pretty. I tap it on, then I blend it in with my finger. That way you get that foil effect. Okay. So now I'm going to clean off my finger and I'm going to go in with, let's see, I'm going to go in with Barb, which is also a glittery shade. This here has some pink and purple reflects in it. So I'm going to dip my finger, cleaned off my finger, I'm going to dip my finger and it's going to be my uh, inner corner highlight. Also very shiny, very glittery as you can tell there. So I'm going to put that in the inner corner. I'm going to blend that in. We'll fix the bottom. We'll wipe that off. So we're going to put that in the inner corner there. Blend it on over to the pink. We'll add some pink on top so it doesn't take away from this really pretty pink there. So a little goes a long way. So this is how much I'm putting. Little goes a long way, guys. So I'm gonna go back into that pink resi color that shiny foil pink i'm gonna go over bring that pink back into the eye here blend in beautifully into the barb color which is a really shimmery glittery purple and pink with some gold reflects as you can see there really pretty color okay
really pretty. So now we're gonna go into um, BK, which is this black. Just a tad bit, we're gonna go here, darken this up here. So just a little bit, just to darken that up. You see how much darker that is? Just a little bit. Just to darken that up. Uh, we're gonna blend these corners here. It's gonna be a very colorful look. Uh, we're gonna add, I'm um, thinking possibly a little bit of Leo on the under eye, which is this really pretty blue. Put that to line the under eye with a little bit of OG um, to transition that color in the under eye. Um, so let's go ahead and start cleaning up the look of the eyes. So I'm going to put a little bit of concealer. Just to clean up the look. Bring it all together. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that same concealer. We'll worry about the under eye in a second. not highlighting we're just simply cleaning off or cleaning up a little bit of the eyeshadow we had here going I'm going to go back into these corners the outer corners to blend the harsh line out like that A really pretty pink with this gold right here really nice okay so now we're gonna go in with a little bit more concealer here cover this up here Covering up the bags we have. Goes on really nicely. going to go in on the under eye with this blue shade Leo and we're going to go ahead and outline the under eye. Be careful not to get this um, 
in your eye since it does have glitter there's a lot of fallout so we're just going to stamp it on into your lash line just stamp it on well not into it just a little bit lower than the lash line just so we have that blue um shiny blue lining of the eye as you can see i already got it in my eye careful there we go got that out okay just stamp that on careful not to get it in your eye as i just did Go ahead and blend that a little. Really pretty color. Really pretty blue. So we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. We're going to stamp it on right near the lash line. Not in your lash line. Try not to get it into your eyes. So we're going to stamp and then blend it. Now we can go ahead and blend this in. Okay, so now we're going to go in with this OG color. And we're going to remove the harshness from here, just right below it. Go in lightly, blending the blue in. Very light. This will give us a little bit more depth to the eye, as you can tell there. Right below the blue, just blend that in a little. Don't drag it down too far. Right about there is nice. Okay, so now we can go ahead and do the face. That way our eye look doesn't look so crazy. A very colorful look we're going for today. So I am going to go in with our my foundation. So I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Um, I use the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is my favorite foundation. I feel like um, this is better than a lot of the high-end foundations I've tried. I always go back to Maybelline, um, the Matte and Poreless. Maybelline has a lot of really nice foundations. I feel like you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a nice face. So I'm going to go in with a Morphe brush, very old brush, but my favorite foundation brush the Morphe um, E31. It's a foundation brush. I use this um, a lot every day. I gravitate from the sponge to a brush, but today I'm gonna go in with a brush just because it's much easier to apply and it applies really evenly. I'm in shade 120. Um, so this is my shade 120. Uh, you'll see once I blend into my neck. I have a lot of redness on my face, so this covers it really really good. bring the excess onto my nose. I don't like putting too much foundation on my nose because I get really oily 
and then it starts to separate. Onto my chin, where I get the most redness. I feel like most of And then my forehead. Pretty good coverage that you get with this foundation. Blend into your neck, your ears. Okay, so now I can go ahead and put some more concealer to highlight. Going in with the same concealer, there's a few dots here. Bring it on the side of the nose here. A little bit of hair stuck there. So now I'm going to go in with the Anastasia um, Contour Kit in light. This is a cream contour. So I'm going to go in with this middle shade to contour. I love to use this e.l.f. brush. Um, I think it's just called the contouring brush. It's a it's kind of old, but I think it's still sold. Really tiny brush, but you're able to go in to give your face that shape. So a little goes a long way, so I'm going to go ahead and blend that into the brush. You're going to make a fishy face to get your contour shape. So just the hollows of your face. We're contouring the nose. I just use the same brush with the excess um, contour cream that's on there along the outsides of the nose. I don't do such a harsh contour on my nose. I don't feel like it's necessary. I'm 
two, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and powder my face. Uh, I love to use um, the Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's my favorite translucent powder. Uh, it's not too heavy. It's not too cakey. It uh, blends in really nicely. It keeps you matte for a really long time. It doesn't keep you matte all day, but keeps you um, keeps you looking matte for a long part of the day. So I use this to set my face, set my under eyes, hopefully I don't crease, but I don't really tend to have a lot of creasing with this concealer. Um, so if you're too dry, you don't necessarily have to set it, uh, but I tend to get oily, so I like to set everything on my face. As you can tell, it doesn't give you that cakey matte finish. And then I'm gonna go in to set in the contour. I'm gonna go in with um, my Real Techniques contour brush. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in um, from the shade and light Camp Von D palette. I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which um, I can't really see what the colors are anymore. I've used it so much, um, but it's from the light palette. So with the same foundation brush, I'm going to go back into the translucent powder and I'm going to give the clean cut of the contour. I don't bake my face. I don't find it necessary to bake. Okay. So I'm gonna put some blush on. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Color Iconic in the shade Blush, I guess. It doesn't really say. This is the color, also very used. I use this almost every day. So I'm using the con- oh, this is actually the contour brush, sorry. I think the other one was the blush brush, but this is the contour brush. I use it for blush. This ties the look in. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows. Uh, this is the NYX Professional Makeup Precision Brow Bra Pencil. So it has the tapered um, tip and then the spoolie on the back. And this is in the shade black. I don't use a lot because it's too dark for my hair, but it gives me that depth that I need into my eyebrows.
And then we're just gonna blend it in. We'll clean up the brow in a moment. Okay, so I just like to use the same foundation brush. We're gonna clean up the brow. And then just use your pinky there. Okay, so our eyebrow is nice and filled. Do the same thing on the other eye. Just drop my brush. Go in with a little bit of concealer. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my face um, using Up All Night Makeup Setting Spray. It's mattifying. It's from Coop and Daisy. I got this at TJ Maxx. Uh, was $6.99 and thought I'd give it a try. It's really nice actually. I've never heard of the brand Coop and Daisy. Um, it's not tested on animals and it's made in the USA. So I really like it. So it's a cheaper alternative if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a setting spray. Um, go to TJ Maxx, they have a lot of different makeup there. Okay. So I like to use my setting spray before I put on um, any highlight. I feel like it um, sets in better. So I'm going to be using um, the M451 from Morphe. It's a highlighting brush. And I'm going in with um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi um, uh, Highlighter Illuminator. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty, like gold color. It looks really nice. I feel like it looks nice on like all skin tones. I'm gonna go in right here as you can tell. It's really nice. I don't feel like you can go overboard really on this highlight. Puts on my nose. You can see that it's really nice. If you have texture, it does emphasize the texture on your skin, but who doesn't like some highlight? 
um, so now I'm going to go in with some mascara, um, Maybelline, the Colossal Mascara, one of my favorite mascaras, make sure eyelashes uh, curve, I already have pretty cur um, curly eyelashes, but it helps your eyelash hold that curl all day. Okay, and now for the lips, so finally we're going to be using um, Kylie Jenner a lipstick called Hustle Money, really pretty packaging, that's what the color looks like, keeping it in the pinky theme, so it's so funny. Okay, and that's the final look. So I'll zoom in so you can see my eyes. Uh, really pretty colors. Uh, this is a brand new palette from Emrezi. Came out yesterday at Ulta. Really pretty makeup look. Um, this could be used for like a night out, just a fun time. I'm not really doing anything, but it looks really nice. So like and subscribe. I will be starting my new channel, um, posting hopefully um, once every week, uh, probably on the weekend. Um, I'd like to thank my boyfriend for buying me my setup for my new YouTube, buying me my ring light, my tripod, and um, for staying at the top of the makeup for me because he got me this palette. Um, so really like to thank him i'm uh, sorry this video is so long but this is how long it takes me to do my makeup um so i'd like to show you the entire process of doing my makeup um next video i'll be showing uh doing my thank hair you. thank you if you guys watched um hopefully stay tuned for next videos bye